So this is your seventh book on Ronald Reagan. What compels you to keep telling his story from different angles? It keeps changing. We, we, we keep finding out more and new things about Reagan that we didn't know before. And it's beginning to develop a much home, a wonderful cl class of people. And um, I think that's the main reason. It was always something new. Well, that answer is actually a perfect lead into the second question. Fo focus on you here. In all of the research you've been doing for Reagan's Secret War and all the other books you've been writing on him, what strikes you as one of the most important lessons that you've learned about Ronald Reagan? Well, I, th I think uh, th that he knew where he was going and what he wanted to accomplish. And the other thing that strikes you as you do this is that you need documents mm -hmm. and to know what really happened, and especially things that he wrote. His, his letters, his correspondence, the speeches and, and radio addresses that he did, and his diary, and also the minutes of meetings that he chaired. So those are all things that are his own words, as well as spontaneous press conferences, mm -hmm. talking to the press just extemporaneously. Do you think there's a story about Ronald Reagan that hasn't yet been told? I doubt it very much. It's not, but it, because one of, one of the things that Nancy has done over the years is that I think somebody asked her, you know, what do you want done here? She said, I would like to see the people the, of the country see what he is like. They want you to see it. And I think that what, that has pretty well been done now. Mm -hmm. I, I don't think there's anything we're going to find that we have not done. But um, I think we're pretty close to that mm -hmm. one. So let's talk about uh, President Reagan's centennial. Uh, he will celebrate a centennial of his birth in 2011, just about a year and a half from now. What do you think is an important message for that birthday? Well, I think there, there are two important messages. Uh, that both concern what he accomplished and how he did it. And the first is the Cold War and the second is the economy. Maybe Martin wants to elaborate. I would dry, drop in one new one that he's going to be t talking a lot is uh, what, what we're talking about, the people, the uh, human rights is very important. He thought that human rights, that all people should be allowed to go away that wherever they wanted to go. He told the Soviet, uh, the Soviet <coughs> people that let, let your people go. And I think we're going to find that as time goes on, that's going to be one of the very important things that he pushed very hard on and did it very quietly so not many people know it. That's perfect. Thank you so much. Thank you for being here with us today.